Hey guys, it's Steel Jan here. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make this variable voltage mod. It has master on and off switch. It has a voltage display. It has variable voltage from 3.3 volts up to 5.5 volts. It has a cool LED. It runs on two 14500 batteries and I built this for under $20. So pay, if you want to stay tuned and see how to how to build this thing, I'm going to show you. And uh, Steelers for the Super Bowl, sorry, sorry, Steelers for the Super Bowl, that's who I'm picking. That's it, let's have a look at this mod. This is the mod, the variable voltage mod, and I'm going to show you how to make it it is, the size is compared to an Ego, standard Ego battery, and the variable voltage mod. When I wanted to build this, the thing that I intended to do was put this whole mod on camera for you, modding it up and everything. But as I started looking at enclosures <laughs> to see what I wanted to build this out of, things got complicated because I had so many fiddly little parts and didn't couldn't decide the enclosure. I've got a lot of mods I want to build right now, so yes, I have not got, gotten to the Elmo mod yet for everybody who wants to ask. Let's put some batteries in this and so we can uh, have a look at it. Freshly charged 14500 batteries and I am going to always keep these batteries with this mod. Um, and charge them individually but keep them with this mod I've got the masking tape around there to help me pull them back out but it is makes it a little wider to put them in so let's talk about the uh, well let's let's do it show it off a little first and then we can talk about it. So we've got the uh, on off switch and there's an on off switch for the LED, the uh, volts display. So if I turn that on then I can see the volts. It has the adjustment screw up here. And I did not put a knob on this yet. I was thinking if I wanted to make a knob, I could make it out of a tiny bit of spring steel and then maybe drop some molten plastic over it, sort of like the way this adjustment tip is made. Take a piece of styrofoam, stick some spring steel in it, dump some uh, hot molten plastic over the top and make a knob and then trim it to fit. Or, um, or even hot glue for a temporary button but you would have to put a drop of super glue in here to hold the button in place. I am debating whether I want a, but a knob there because I think with a knob there, I'm always going to be bumping it when I'm vaping. So I think maybe no button. But anyway, yeah, let's look at this uh, 3.93 and um, can go up and up. So, yeah, yeah, whatever I want. Now the cardamizer I'm going to put on here is um, is um, about 2.6, so I don't want to go over 4.2 on here. This is the LED display in the back. Oh, that's going to be way too bright. That is uh, way brighter than what it is in real. That's more like what it looks like in real. So let's get into this. For the enclosures, 
it, this was a very difficult choice. And what I ended up going with is this. These were $3.99 a piece, so I decided I'd use two of them. You can get them without the blinking LED, of course, here. I just like having extra junk in my junk box because I never know when I'm going to need something. The Mad Vapes has these for a dollar without the LED. They have the exact same enclosure with a switch on it for about a dollar ninety-nine. Oh, here's my, my paper. Yeah, Mad Vapes has this for a dollar ninety-nine without this LED. It's that same box. So I decided to take two of these and brad them together and then this is just hot glue with i painted it to make it look nice but i bratted them together so they're they're not going anywhere they're solid as ears so a little bit about this box let's talk about the box so and like i said this is the same as any other box you get at mad vapes or just the plain one at radio shack without that blinking led on it they open easily enough. They have a screw down here. I took this one out because it's so much easier to get it open. And they'll stick fine when they're closed. First of all, this wire, I hope I got a video of it. I tried to video it earlier to show you the wire gauge. This is 26 gauge wire. This wire is not okay for a mod. You're, you're looking at 3 amps. 26 gauge is too small. You want at least 20 gauge for a mod that's going to use uh, five volts. Well, even the 3.7 volts. You're you're looking you're looking at three amps. You need 20 gauge or a lower number, which is a fatter wire. So the way I started this off for the battery box is I popped this off, and I took out this little switch. This little switch is also not going to handle the amperage or even the voltage. You got to think this is this battery box is for two AA batteries. That's three volts at you know, milliamps, tiny, tiny fraction of what you're going to use in this thing with two 14500 batteries. So, yeah. So, so I wanted to brad these two together and I wanted to run one of the brads through the ground. These two are connected up here, so that's wrong for my mod. So I took these and put them up here and I took these and put them down here so that this would be an individual spring and I could run one of my brads straight through the ground and have a ground lug on the inside of my um, components box. Then I put a 12 volt 5 amp switch in place of this. It took a little, everything on this mod took a little finagling, a little whittling, a little uh, making it work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's a bigger switch. And the and the uh, the way I wired it was, I put I'm pull, coming up here with my positive, took the positive off the top of my battery lead and put it to one side of the switch, and I ran this wire up through into the uh, component box. And again, this is I used 18 gauge wire because that's what I had. I would have used 20 if I'd have had it, but I didn't have 20, so 18 definitely don't use this 26 that comes in the box. <laughs> Not if you really want all the amps that you want up to your atomizer. What's the point in having a good mod if you're not getting all your amps to your atomizer? Okay, so, so of course the second box, the second part of this, the components, is the same box. Like I said, bratted together. Well, like this. Same box. Let's have a look at this one. Now, let's talk about this LED for a second. My LED is off of a drink coaster. That's right. Now, hang on a second, I'll show you one. Come in a box like this. Drink Dazzlers. Drink Dazzlers, you turn them on and if this battery wasn't dead in this one, they're really cheesy. <laughs> but you set your, your drink on it and it's supposed to make your glass all pretty and interesting looking with all the different colors coming up. And again, that's way brighter on the camera than what it is in, in person. That's actually even brighter than in person. Huh. 
So I thought to myself, well, I want an interesting LED. So I tore one of these coasters up and it's, and so it's a small little cardboard module in here and I'll show you. It's a small little cardboard module that I had to whittle down the circuit board and uh, take out the switch that came with it and wire it up. And right now I've got it just hot glued in there with its little, I used the little thing that was right off of here. So there we have it. Inside the mod then we have the push button switch, the little regulating power uh, module. Now mine is the TI-8100 and the thing about it is, I got it as an engineering sample from, from Texas Instruments. It doesn't have the extra stuff with it to make the voltage regulate, so I had to put the two um, electrolytic capacitors in there and also a potentiometer. I didn't have the potentiometer I wanted, so I rigged up a 5K potentiometer with one 220 in parallel with it, and then I put a 220 in series. I can explain that uh, later here in a second. This this is just a this is just the voltage display. This is a plain vent. Let's see, let's see. Hang on. First of all, the uh, the voltage module. Oops, if I can get to show you the picture of that. There's the picture of that 8100 module, and I can go over some particulars of that too. It has the uh, it has the 10 amp output current and 4.5 volts to 14 volt input voltage with the voltage adjust. See, I didn't mark that in highlight, but it can go up to 5.5 volts. So I can go over some of that later. But this this voltage display, which is right here, which is right here. This is stupid simple. This is the, the photograph of it from Mad Vapes. It is just a tiny little box, self-contained. It's got these little uh, legs that come out. This is actually for um, remote controlled helicopter applications when they have uh, lithium polymer batteries and it has a connector here on the lithium polymer battery. You plug it in and the individual cells of the lithium polymer battery, this will measure three cells Oh, six cells. Um, it's just, it, this is ground, there's your voltage, these you can whack off, bingo, there's your voltage. This is a stupid simple module and it's really nice too, I really like it, but there is totally nothing to working with it. So that's this, right here. I use the cheesy switch from the Radio Shack box to to control it, to just turn it on and off. There's nothing to that. Drill the hole, put in my atomizer, battery connector. What else can I tell you? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much the mod. Now, the thing is, and why I didn't do this on camera, and you'll see this big blob of uh, hot glue, is these this was just so fiddly. It was just so fiddly figuring out where to drill holes and how to cut holes and all this stuff. Um, I can show you the schematic and we can go over that. So yeah, let's do the schematic. Let me get a piece of paper. Okay, so let's see if I can draw the schematic for you. Got to see if I can stay within the camera limits here. We have a battery. This is a two cell battery, so I'll draw in two cells. This is going to be, um, let's see, it'll be four point, well, it'll be four, uh, seven point four volts, because it's going to be two, three point seven, fourteen five hundreds. Oops, I'm not on the camera, am I? Which actually has uh, max charge when they're fully charged is equal to about 8.4 volts. So we come out here, we're going to go to a on-off switch 
for so we have battery we have the on off switch then we come over here and we're going to put in our push button switch that's our big green horn switch that's this guy and ordinarily in a just a regular basic mod you know you just come up straight up to here and you go over and you go um, you go there's my atomizer connection you go whew, back down to positive and that's your mod I mean there's just, just a battery and a switch and maybe you have an LED in here and that's it your mod you're done it's just a battery box in this case we're going to put a regulated voltage output between so we can vary the voltage all we want to so for this this particular mod that I built I used this 8100 so I'm going to put this 8100 here for it we're going to go from pin 2 it's going to come straight down to here this is our input then the output will go up to the atomizer so this is the output and this is pin 4 of the module these both of these guys have to have a big capacitor on there uh, it says no less than 100 microfarads I happen in my junk box to have 220s so I put in 220 microfarads um, and the ones I used were 16 volts so you put one here to ground and you put one here to ground just like that over here on this side so this is going to be our conditioned line in and our conditioned line out over here on this side we're going to do our voltage adjust so we've got the voltage adjust goes between pins 3 and 5 so they say that they don't want your voltage to be any less than well we can look in the data sheet oh hang on a second okay data sheet on the resistance we don't want the resistance to be any less than 240 and we don't want the resistance to be any more than say um, 436 these are in K so this is uh, 436 ohms 240 ohms to 436 ohms so to keep it from bottoming out we'll put in a resistor here um, where's that other paper we'll put in a resistor here now on mine I had to go with what was in my junk box right so I happen to have a 220 ohm so that's what I used even though that's a little low but that's all right for this it'll be okay because I won't wreck it and boy am I not drawing resistors very good these days then all I had in my junk box was a 5k <laughs> pot <laughs> so I paralleled the 5k pot with another 220 ohm resistor because that's what I had and so this gives actually gives me a uh, potentiometer um, that's going to be uh, 0 to 211 so <laughs> you know I lucked out so this comes here oops no that's not right scratch that well actually that would be okay except that because uh, it, it's going to go to ground anyway <laughs> one way or the other because the ground that'll be all right so there you go basically that's it that would work just like that pin one is an inhibit pin it's um you could use it for an on off control but the thing is is that it's when it's off it's going to draw a little bit of current it's microamps but i thought eh. it also would be great for a touch switch you could definitely use it do a touch switch with this this is uh, this is like open collector internally so if you ground the outside it turns it off and then open the ground it turns it on so you can see if man a touch switch all you'd have to have is anyway never mind never mind i don't want, i don't want to go there 
because I'm sticking with this mod right now. So there you have it. Then in mine, I wanted to put the, uh, I put my fancy drink coaster LED module. So I'm gonna draw my LED module. I'm gonna make a great big LED module here. Uh, boy, I can't write on this paper from behind this camera. And I didn't have to even um, put any resistors or anything on it. That just thing just tacked right in. But you know, if you were going to put a resistor in there, you just put a resistor and your I don't know 470 ohm resistor, or whatever you want in there. Then, uh, so for the the voltage indicator is dead simple too. Like I told you, I brought in a line from ground and I used the cheesy Radio Shack switch that came in the in the box. It's this guy, so that when I turn him on. And I press the button and I can see the voltage. And if I turn this off, I don't. So that's this. Coming over to this, uh, let's just draw a box and call it volts because this is just so dead simple. There. There, there's the schematic. That's the complete schematic. So now you can go build one, right? So yeah, the only thing left to do after you build one of these puppies is vape it. See you next time. Steel Jam.